Cassandra is the former owner of a mortgage and taxation business, and she is the founder of Business Women on the Move and Women of Impact, a women's networking group of over 1,000 women. Despite her many accomplishments, she does admit to one mishap along the way. At the end of this webinar, she promises to tell her how she, how she messed up her family's family feud audition. So take it away, Cassandra. Well, thank you so much. Oh my goodness, you said I promised to tell how I messed up, right? <laughs> so, I, so I'm a woman that has to stick to my word. Well, thank you everyone for having me, first of all. Um, be, um, Better Business Bureau of Greater Maryland. Can I just say this? You guys have been so awesome. Um, and I'm and I'm not just saying that because I'm here, but you, you guys have been such a great support system. The wisdom and the, and the knowledge and the information you put out to make a business better is top notch. So I hope and I pray that my information will make you better too. Again, I'm Cassandra Ferguson, CEO of Elevation Global Media Group. Good morning, everybody. So here's an overview of what we're gonna talk about. Why media? Uh, what does the I see, the develop me? Information is power. Light, can't, it should be light. Light, camera, action. So we're going to be talking about media. And when we think about media, media, media gets the message across a wider audience. It can help you target your message to people you want to hear. It, expo it brings exposure to your group or your organization. It's, it helps you people to easily locate you. And what about that homebody, right? That person that does not like to come out of, of the house, that introvert. Do it with media, that person can now connect to others via Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, uh, TikTok, all these other uh, media outlets that are used that we're going to talk more about. Conclusion, understand the power behind media, understand the view from the other side, because we often think about how we look, but let's take a look at how other people see us or what, what is going on in another person's um, intellect or, or headspace when they are looking at us. Steps to help you be the media, to be media ready. Content that provokes, and let me move this little bar, show up ready to move the crowd. You guys heard of that song, I Came to Move the Crowd. It, I know it's an old um, 70s, um, it may be um, Run DMC, how about that? <laughs> But you know, there was a song that they sung that said, I came to move the crowd. How about producing content? And we're gonna be talking a lot about video, but what I want you guys to understand that you there, there's some meat with this potato, right? That means that you have to do some work in order to show up in, um, with your video presentation. Again, what is media? Media in simple words, it's the term media, which is the plural of medium, refers to the communication channels through which we spread news, music, movies, education, promotional messages, and other data. We use to get all our news and entertainment via, via TV, radio, newspaper, and magazines. Can someone in the chat tell me other ways that people are getting their news right now? What are other ways that people are getting news? That's the start of question for me. All right, we got social media coming up as a top billing here. We got Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Facebook again. Yeah, so what we do is we see the change. In you know, uh, uh, there's a new era. Facebook, people, I have heard people say, oh my goodness, I found out, yeah, unfortunately, the death of someone through Facebook. And sometimes that hits you kind of different to see it there first, right? But this is how people are getting information out quickly through media. So these are types of media, right? So we have the newspaper, of course we have radio and podcasts, we have TV, 
Um, you know, you can look at the different um, apps of TV as being media as well. Um, Netflix, Apple TV, Google, all these are ways to communicate. Remember, media is just simply getting the information out. Of course, we have our computers, we have, magazine, we have magazines, and we have those devices that we hold in our hands pretty much, I, I'm not gonna say all day because if you hold it all day, then that's not great. But we pretty much um, rely on these devices pretty much um, to get our information, to, to hear from anyone in our family, friends. So these are types of medias. Is there any that I'm missing or any that I'm leaving out? I would say I pretty much hit them all, what you say? Okay, so we're gonna begin to talk about the, now we're, now I want you, um, what, what I want you to do when you walk away from this, I want you to begin to create different. Can, I, can everyone just say that in the chat, I will create differently or different um, types of videos and things to put on media because a lot of times we don't know the most important points. And one of the things is what do you see? When people see your um, business, when they see your posts, when they see any content, that um, you put out, what do they see? Now we say a picture is worth a thousand words. You guys ever heard that? Well, how about a post is worth more than a thousand words because it can capture and freeze a moment in time while presenting an emotion, expressing a mood, sharing an idea or telling a narrative. All key elements of storytelling. Photos can be used to tell many stories from travels around the world to family holidays. And now we have video. We're gonna talk about these video rails, um, reels and TikTok in a minute, but let's begin to put the things, the meat of what you need in this in order to get your customer's attention. It's about the customer. Can we just put that in, in the chat? It's all about the customer. Four qualities of, of a good commercial is this. And I got uh, this information from the master, um, it's called the master group. Four qualities of a good commercial, a good and simple story. Hmm. And with that story, let's think about video. When you're telling your story in a video, you have to from beginning to the middle and to the end, immediately capture the audience attention. So that means that you may have a good, and we've seen these video um, videos that are out that um, they can have your attention in the beginning. They can start off strong and all of a sudden, oh goodness, this is a little, this has gone another way. Let me just tune out, tune, turn this off. So remember a good and simple story. So that means that it does not have to be hard. It does not have to be deep, complicated, but good and simple. The right tone. It's easy to think that a great video is always the one with the best entertainment. You know, you, hilarious videos are catchy for um, jing, um, jingles, but when you are serious, and you have a serious, let's just say your brand is a serious brand, it's an educational brand, it can be about children, um, um, let's just say children um, in hunger, serious tone, right? Then peaceful. If you want to um, have people look at your video and, and you want them to be able to experience peace, what about edgy? You know, always you want to be edgy. You want to always keep people basically on the edge. You want them always thinking what's next. Also the reoccurring theme, the follow-up commercials, the continue the story, build momentum. One thing I've realized is you can, you got to be consistent. You can't start something and then stop. People, if you're getting people excited about these videos, you're getting people excited about seeing you, they're gonna be beginning one and, okay, I wanna see another, I wanna see another. And of course, all of your videos, all of your content must have a call to action. You have to know this call to action before you begin. That means that you already say, well, I need to have 
10 people um, basically come to this event, that, that information is already to the forefront of your mind. You know what you want. And after they see the video, you are going to tell them how to get in touch with you. You're gonna tell them how to be a part of this event. You're gonna tell them how to register, to call to action. And of course, for small businesses, it may be to bring awareness to your product or services. But either way, I used to say this all the time, do not come on the radio show. If you are, you do not, because a talk show host, if you do not have a way for people to reach you after you leave, a call to action. Having a viral hit on social media is the holy grail of online marketing. It's worth big bucks to marketers looking to improve their worth, and it can have a huge impact on brand awareness, sales, consumer engagement, and reach. Alex said that the co-founder of the successful web business. Here's another one. If you have been avoiding digital marketing, let's just say this, some of us have. <laughs> the first thing I say, oh God, that's too much work. <laughs> that's too much. I don't want people to know all that information about me. Only put out there what you want people to know. No one's making you put information out on a video or on a post that you don't want to put. But again, you got to have the end in mind. What is it that you want your customers um, to get after they look at this post? Remember, the post is not for you. The video is not for you. It's for your customers. Is it because you think you are sim um, you're not ready? I thought that many times. Do you think you need some time to get established and then you will figure out the digital um, marketing angle. The only problem with that is those customers are going to go somewhere else. About the time you keep saying, well, I'm not ready. I don't have this because I'm going to tell you, um, YouTube is full of um, tutorials about how to do things, but you have to say, let me at least start here from from the little bit of knowledge that i have about it let me start here and then build on it so we can't we can't continue to say hey guys we all know social media is not going anywhere it's not going anywhere now why is color important as you can see i have incorporated my brand colors and this is all to build a successful um, video and posts. Um, as you can see, I have incorporated um, the colors from my logo throughout this presentation. I did that on purpose. First of all, you now know what the logo colors are for Elevation Global Media Group. But why is color important? Color is important because the, it, the, it affects the entire outcome of branding and advertising. Advertising, customers' brains use color to recognize products and the brands that make them. Psychologic, you know, it's based on the association of our brains to make with certain colors. So, so let's think about this. The McDonald's arches. Immediately you thought about what color that was. Um, Baltimore Ravens. Immediately you thought about what color are associated with the Baltimore Ravens. Um, I'm going to name a bank, M&T Bank. Immediately you thought, so you thought the Golden Arches, yellow, Baltimore Ravens, purple and black, M&T Bank, you thought green. So you see the association and now looking at colors, you know, people, you, some people are like, oh, you know, um, I never thought about colors when I thought about making a video. I never thought about colors when I thought about making a post, but it's important. What colors are most effective in advertisement? The highest, uh, the bright and um, primary and secondary colors are red, green, orange, and yellow. Red has always our attention getters, even with the red sports car, right? If a red sports car passed by you while you're at a stoplight, it's going to cause something in your brain um, trigger something in your brain to cause you to turn and look, right? Red is the color of power. It gets people's attention and it holds it. 
which is why it's the most popular color for marketing. So I'm telling you guys all this because remember, when you leave here, you're going to be able to produce some solid and great content based off of this information that you've got, you have gotten today. You're going to be able to produce new videos. You're going to be able to produce new posts because you're going to now keep the customer in mind and how do I get the customer's attention? So again, here are a couple of um, warm tones, cool tones. They said the greens are more of harmony. If you have a, a feel which is in health, um, nurture, peace, um, the yellows are cheerful, um, creative, friendliness, happiness, smiley, optimistic, orange is comfort, daring, excited, fun, um, and again, warmth, and of course, red is, um, they say, daring, love, spirited, and strength. So colors can change the way you react to a product and a social media campaign or even a, a video. So I want you guys to keep that in mind when you are looking, uh, thinking about colors and what colors you should put in your post. Think about what the tone, you know, um, think about um, the message about if you're if you're trying to in blues are more of they said the blues are more like a relaxing calm if you wanted more of a relaxed then use some blues. What about you? Branding is important because not only is it what makes a memorable impression on consumers, but it allows your customers and clients to know what to expect from your company. It is a way of distinguishing yourself from the competitors and clarifying what it is you offer that makes you the better choice. What about you? So this is what about you? What do people see when they, or what do people think when they hear your company, your name, your product? One thing is this, content, I always say content is power. And it's also said that content is king. Why? Because if you have great content, that's why you have to, all things are not for right now. So sometimes you, sometimes you have to take time to build great content. You have to re research, you have to be authentic with your content, original, um, organic, transparent, because content is king. And I, and I would say to you guys today, value your content. Value, put more value in your content. Um, write things down, record some things. Sometimes we put things out there because I know because we can be in an emotional place and we just want to put it out there. And before you know it, um, that was some great content that you put out, but you did not capture that content. You did not record it. You did not um, write it down. So remember, content is power. And what drives people to you more than anything besides your brand and you being consistent, you showing people you want to do things in excellence is the content that you put out. Is it relatable? Can people relate to, to what you're saying? Do they feel like they have come into your space? Do they feel like you have come into their, their space? Content, again, is king and I say content is power. Mark Twain said the difference between the right word and the almost right word is the, diff the difference between lightning and the lightning bug. Twain had an incredible way to nicely sum it all up, didn't he? So the difference between someone else putting out, let's just say any content or any products or any posts or any videos that they did not take the time to develop is lightning and a lightning bug. You could tell the difference. Your customers can tell the difference. Consumers can tell the difference. Can I say this, um, just to give a little testament, someone reached that we put out video about our um, ribbon cutting. Someone from Hollywood um, reached out, Hollywood in Atlanta, reached out to us basically to find out more information about 
our company. Before I knew it, I was talking to someone in Singapore, a, a, a TV station in Singapore. I was like, oh my goodness. But again, they people watch to see what you put out. They watch to see if the preparation time and the work has gone out in order to put out a product, to put out a video, to put out a recording in excellence. The value of your content in or your or your offer is what ultimately matters. Do you value what you put out? Because what you value, others will value also. And yet the words you use to demonstrate that value and present that offer will determine to what degree people take action. If you don't put John Maxwell trainers, she said, you know, I'm a trainer, John Maxwell. And one of the things they, they, that he has is the, it's, it's the law of the momentum. The law of the momentum means this, build the, mo make your momentum high. And what happens is if you keep your standards, your momentum high, it's going to cause people with the, that same mentality, that same desire to be attracted to you. The law of the momentum, keep it high. Don't lower your standards just to fit in. Don't lower the way you do things just to fit in. Keep it high. Words that bring the lightning. And by lightning, I mean words that invoke and engage motion. We're gonna talk about some words now. Words, again, we're talking about content. We're talking about the things that you put out. What are trigger words? Trigger words help you grab and keep attention because they strike a nerve with the person you want to reach with your copy, with your video, with your post. The power of the right words, the difference between the right word and the almost right word is determined by the level of emotional identification, the word prompts. When you, again, remember when you are creating, when you are um, building, when you are establishing, keep the customer in mind, keep your audience in mind. In other words, the right emotion, emotionally trigger words to make the same basic message to all heights. So if you are keeping the customer in mind, you are keeping the audience in mind, you are keeping your mission in mind, you are keeping your vision in mind, that means that you will build words around that. I want you on a sheet of paper, I want you just to write the name of your, of your, your business, your, your um, vision, if it's a book or whatever, and I want you for homework to begin to build words around that first. Let's identify who your audience is. Let's identify who you are, who this product is for, then build words around, around your customer. Tap into your customer's emotions. Now I have, um, you know, I used to own a mortgage company um, and they also taught us about how people make emotional decisions. Let's be honest, they still do. A lot of times people will go buy a car because they just saw that red car ride past that they liked. So, and so what people will respond out of their emotions. Tap into your customers, your audience emotions and be the solution. Be the solution. Make sure your words are empowering, passionate, transforming, wellness, worthy, radiance, renewal, thriving, and purposeful. When you begin to make sure these things are in your content, in your videos, because again, I'm gonna give us uh, some numbers on some studies that were just recently done with videos. And you're gonna see how videos and, and rails and TikTok, um, IGTV are causing people's um, Instagram and Facebook to blow up. But remember, we're talking about the meat because you don't want the potatoes without the meat. Lights, camera, action. I would say now that you have all these pieces that you need to have a part of, you know, the puzzle, you are ready to, to, to be present. You're ready to be in front of someone. You're ready to show them your hard work, right? So, you know, there um, are some results here um, 
th that basically um, that was done according for video uh, re reels. Someone went, they posted their first reel, they had um, 27,000 views and 733 likes. So you may not get the likes. <laughs> A lot of times people looking for those likes, but they got the views and they got comments. And of course, hashtags along with that helps to drive people to your site. So when they posted the first one, they got 27. Thousand, and then when they posted the sixth one, because they started a campaign. So I would say you need to strategize your campaign on how many you want to post, and it's and there are times that that are good for posting as well. Um, nine nine in the morning, twelve p.m., uh, six p.m., and then nine at night. Those are times that studies have shown that people will engage more on social media so they will catch your video. And then of course, hashtags. So, and also you would notice that Instagram has redesigned the home screen to put video, um, the, re the reels up, up to the front and center. So they realize that people are getting more engagements from creating the video reels. Now we all know that old faithful Facebook is one of the largest platforms that, um, and but we also know who is more engaged on Facebook. Um, it, it, I would say maybe the baby boomers more than the millennials, but the millennials are coming back around to use it as well because they realize that I got to um, connect with the baby boomers. LinkedIn, um, that's a platform more for networking, but did you know, ha ha, did you know? that you can do video on LinkedIn as well. You can connect Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram, and YouTube. So you can record, I think you may can do three, uh, only three at a time. So you may can do Facebook, um, um, YouTube, and, and you can also do LinkedIn. You can do live recordings, webinars on LinkedIn as well. Remember, video, right? And Twitter is the per, you know, using, of course, the younger generation, our younger generation like to get to do Twitter because it gets the information out quicker. Um, so the majority of your audience there is under 50. And the reason I'm sharing all this, these um, platforms with you guys, because you have to be able to connect to all age groups. So you have to go where they are. Pinterest. That's where you get into photo sharing. Um, it's a platform for business businesses with um, visual appear, 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 appear. Um, restaurants, fashion, art, travel, weddings. So a lot of um, wedding and people that have um, jewelry and fashion they use Pinterest. Snapchat is um, the you know it's one of those quick um, platforms now. Your, your content does not stay on Snapchat because I think it disappears within, I don't, um, so many seconds. So if you want to do something quick where you just want to say, hi, catch me on this, this, on your Snapchat, um, you can do that. And of course, we still, we have Instagram as well. It's, that's where you're going to get the most of your audience from when you're creating a video is on um, Instagram. You're gonna get the most, um, you're gonna build your audience there. You're gonna build your clients there because a lot of people go to Instagrams to see to see what's happening very quickly. Since the short video format, format on the, um, you know, since last year, brands and creators began to realize that the, the post reel in more than just views, many have seen their follower counts and engagement rates increase too. Uh, one um, Instagram creator says she's gained over 2,800 followers by posting a reel every day for a month. Yes, posting every day for a month, um, posting once a week. Um, again, consistency. Consistency will, will, will breed results. So I want you to also keep in mind the the generation that the most popular generation that we are speaking to in our posting in our videos 
millennials are the 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 um are the highest living or the largest living generations generation they've passed baby boomers so you can look at these numbers um who defines millennials this is 23 to 28 year olds and one thing i can say is this as a business owner um in order to know about millennials you need to have them on your team in order to know what they're doing and what they like, you need to have them on your team. They can help you create some of these videos because they, 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 they do it. So you've heard of the saying, out of sight, out of mind. You soon forget people or things that are no longer visible or present. You are so close yet so far. So, keeping your your business keeping your product keeping your services off social media is you're basically when someone tries to think of someone that can do this just got a call last week from someone in in connecticut i'm, I'm moving to dc and i understand that your business provides this because I'm, I'm watching your social media posts again if you are out of sight you are going to be out of mind so stay visible, stay visible, keep your business visible, stay connected on the social media sites. You don't have to be on there. You know, you can, there's some there um, apps that basically you can manage your posts. You can set up post times. And then what you need to do, because one of the other things that are, that are important with social media and your videos and your webinars, whether it's a webinar, whether it's a Zoom, is the engagement with the customer. They wanna know that you care. So you're gonna to have to at least take 15 minutes to go on to engage, to comment, to say thank you um, or, some, or, or something like that. To let the customers know that you are there to help and, and that you want to engage with them. It's Q and A time. 